Good morning, guys. Welcome to reading class. Let's read family pictures. We are going to begin with our birthday girl, Hazen. Hazen is going to be the first one to read. The pictures in the book are all painted from my memories of growing up in Kingsville, Kingsville? Texas. Texas. Near uh -huh. the border with Mexico. From the time I was a young girl, I always dreaming dream of becoming dream, dream of become of becoming, becoming an, an artist. artist. Uh huh. I practiced drawing. Practiced. Practice. Practice drawing every day. I study art in school and I finally did become an artist. My family has inspired, inspired, and inspired, and encouraged. Encourage. Encourage me for all these years. This is my book of family pictures. Family pictures, exactly. This is my book of family pictures. So these were not like photographs, like memories. So she is relating, she is telling us, she's narrating memories, what happened uh, into her, her family. Now, uh, let's see who else. Isabella, read half of this information. Let me make a line to okay. indicate you where you're going to stop reading here. Read, please. Is it Spanish is it story, Miss? The story is, is in English so and it's in Spanish at the bottom. Oranges. The title of this picture is Chicken, so she said, well, go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're going to start reading here, here, and you're going to finish okay. here. We were always going to my grandfather's house and water. So, they were blue. And we were Got it again. Sorry, Isabella. We were always going to my grandparents' house. So we're always... whatever. This is a compound word. Whatever. Whatever. We're away from they my will. You, house. you are not reading all the words. You are not reading all the words. So it says whatever they Whatever they, whatever they were involved in, involved, 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 in we will get involved in, in in this picture. My grandmother is hanging, hanging, hanging. hanging out 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 of the laundry up the laundry hanging up, up the laundry mm -hmm. this is what we see you can see the clothes here she was hanging the clothes because she was washing it was laundry day Isabella, continue. We told her. We can't listen, Isabella. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can. We told her that and um, pick some, pick and needed picking. So she, she said. Say, she said, well, well, go ahead. ahead. 
Uh -huh. And pick some. That's it. Pick some. Some what? They are going to pick what? Pick orange. Oranges. If you say orange, you are not saying the S. Orange is without S. But if, if it is in plural, it is oranges. Be careful with the S pronunciation at the end of a word, please. So here, grandma was hanging up the laundry. We told her that the oranges needed picking. So she said, well, go ahead and pick some oranges, okay? Um, swag, next part. Read from before to the end. Before. Before she knew it, she had too many orange to hold uh -huh. in no. her hands. Sorry, Swag. Same mistake. You did not pronounce the S. Orange is like this. But the word you said here has an S. See? Orange. Yes. Oranges. Before she knew. Say the word. It, sorry. Say the word. Repeat orange. Orange. No. Oranges. Oranges. Exactly. If you say orange, no está leyendo la S. Solo está diciendo una naranja. Oranges. Be careful, please. Okay. She had she too had many oranges. Too many oranges to hold in her hands. Uh -huh. So she made a basket out of her out. apron, apron. Mm -hmm. that my brother, my brother, up in the tree, picking oranges, picking oranges. The rest of the rest of us are picking, picking, the, picking up the ones, the ones. That he dropped on the dropped. ground. Letter T, that we that he dropped on the ground. So look at the grandma. She made a bag with her apron here. She made a bag. A bag using the apron. See, can you see that? Here. This one. Miss. Miss. Uh-huh. I can read in the, in, the, in, the, in the page 99. Okay, you can. I can do now. So, they are collecting, they are picking up oranges in her grandma. The grandma was there hanging clothes. So look at the, the oranges on the floor. They did not have something to collect them. They don't have a bag. So grandma may make a pocket using her apron. The white clothes she's wearing is an apron. It's como un delantal. Okay, Santiago. Let me make a line where you have to stop reading. Um, so read up here. Start reading, please. Santiago. Okay, that's my hiding that the piñata at my uh, at my sixth birthday party. It was also my brother's fourth birthday. Mm -hmm. My mother made a big birthday party for us and invitate all kinds of friends, cousins, and neighborhood kids. You can see the piñata when you are trying to hit, to hide it, hit, hit it. Hit it because you, uh, your eyes are covered with a hand, ha, hand, handkerchief. Ex handkerchief, exactly, a handkerchief, okay? Remember that I showed you what a handkerchief is. It's like a piece, this one is a napkin, right? This is a napkin, okay? Napkin, we used to, to clean our face, but there are, um, let's say kinds of napkins, but made of clothes. They are made of fabric, it's just the tela. Those are not napkins, are handkerchiefs. And I also mentioned that before, men carry a napkin 
uh, sorry, a handkerchief in 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 her pocket, in in the pants, in los pantalones, see, ¿sí? in a bolsa trasera. So they fold it like this and they keep it there and then they use it to to dry out, to dry the the um the sweat, to clean the house or or also to blow the nose and then they keep it back. So those that is a handkerchief. And before this, that's correct. Um, look at the girl that is here in the middle. She is hitting the piñata, right? But her eyes are covered. Um, when I was a girl, and I guess when your parents were, were little kids, uh, when we went to a piñata, we have to cover our eyes if, we, if it is time, if it is our turn. But we you have when, to cover. When I have uh, no, what they do to me, they, my sisters ask me, how much years do you have? How and old are you? They turn me around, and they turn me around. Oh, okay. I, I was getting birthday. Okay, but you know what happened before that probably is not happening today? Sorry about that, but before kids were more obedient. More obedient. As you can see, all of them are making a circle. They are not close to the piñata because the girl in the middle has a, like a bat and she's hitting the piñata. So what happened if, if that girl hit one of the head of the kids? That's going to be a problem. I remember when I was a little kid, I was hitting a piñata and I, of course, my eyes were covered and I hit the piñata and some candies fall off from the piñata. So one boy tried to grab the candies. He, he tried to grab the candies and I hit the piñata again and I and I hit his head here in this part of his eye, uh, his, the ear, and he was bleeding. Él estaba sangrando because I hit, I hit him with that when I was trying to hit the piñata. So, and because of those accidents also, I guess, um, no more, no more handkerchief, no more, no more folded eyes. It's what I used to break piñatas is a, a pan of escoba. And when my, it was my big sister's turn, she always broke it. Okay. Well, it, it was not my intention. I could not see. I could not see. And I did not know that he was there. But he was bleeding. Later, later that he was bleeding from from. That him. is the reason because now they they are cover oh, the eyes in exactly. a part. That's the reason. No more folded folded eyes. No more folded well, so, eyes. Sometimes we no. use folds to cover eyes, but we we just invite a little bit of people. Not exactly, that but probably you are in. You, it's just you and your family in the house. But when there are many kids. It's very difficult to control the kids. Okay, Daniel, read the rest of this information, please. My father is pulling the rope, the rope, rope that makes the piñata go up the and down. 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 He will make sure. Sure that every everybody has a chance, chance to hit it at least once. Mm -hmm. Somebody somebody will end up breaking 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 it and that and that. When all the candy will fall out and all the kids will run and try to grab them. Try to grab them, grab a stick. Also, all the kids will try to grab a candies. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. This word, invited, invited. That, that's the correct pronunciation of this word, mm -hmm. invite. If, if mm -hmm. the word doesn't have B, is invite. If the word has let it be, invited. Invited, okay? Mm. Who's, who wants me. to tell me something? It is. Okay, it is. tell me. You want to read the rest, the next page? I, I can read the page. 
101. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. read here. Start, finish, read here. Start the reading, please. Okay. Read. Okay. In the early spring, my grandfather would come would remember. and use. And Rem sorry, remember this word. Is the letter L is a silent letter. Would. This one is, you say it like, like madera. How do you say madera? Wood. So it's the same pronunciation. Wood. In the early spring, my, fra my grandfather would say the word. Wood. Continue, it is. Uh huh. Wood. Wool. Come and get used and well. Get I'll us go out into the world. Here, get us, not get not get us. you. Get us and get us and well. I'll go out into the world. Woods. World. Woods. Woods. Big no fall cactus. My grandfather. And my mother are sealing off. Slicing, are slicing off. Slicing is slicing. cutting. Uh -huh. Slicing off. Slicing uh -huh. off the fresh tender leaf on the novel and putting them in boxes. Uh -huh. My grandma, my grandma, mother, and and the tree to line the boxes. Uh -huh. Arturo, my grandmother and my brother Arturo. So we got the name of one of the characters. Arturo are pulling this from the mesquite tree to line the boxes. Okay, so they are collecting nopal cactus. They are slices and look how this has grandpa house how grandpa is doing this job. He is not using his hands, okay? He used a knife here to slice the cactus. And also he is using another utensil, another tool here. Because remember that cactus has, has uh, what? Spinas, right? So you can attach it. Can I read the next one? You cannot touch it. Okay, read the next part. After we got home, uh -huh. after we got home, my grandfather would shave off all the needles uh -huh. from each leaf. The needles, of exactly. Exactly. Then my grandmother would parboil par the leaves in hot water. The next morning, she would cut them up and stir fry them with chili powder and eggs for breakfast. Exactly. Uh -huh. So they were, see, then my grandmother would parboil the leaves in hot water, boil, herbir. But before that, um, before that, grandpa, will shave, shave. Men used to shave the house, se afeitan. They cut the hair that grows here in this part of the, of the face, the barb, right? Here, the chin. So grandpa was shaving, él estaba cortando, shaving off all the needles, las espinas, from each leaf of cactus. Because they are gonna prepare, they're gonna use the cactus for prepare breakfast with egg, boiled cactus and eggs for breakfast. Sebastian, read this part, please. But read, read the title. The title is at the beginning, at the middle here. The title of this one was Picking Nopal Cactus. And this one is in- Hammerhead Shark. Shark, look at the Hammerhead Shark here in the picture. Poor uh -huh. shark, poor shark. This picture is about the times 
the times my family went to Padre Island in the go in the Gulf of oh. Mexico. Okay. Uh -huh. Continue. To go swimming on on when we go there, a fisherman had just caught a big hammerhead shark at the end of the pier hole and the pier hole he got the shark to the beach i never found out it was scary scary to see Sorry, because Sebastian. Sebastian, it's difficult to understand because you are not respecting the periods. Usted no está respetando los puntos, entonces mezcla las ideas y por eso no se entiende. You have to be careful. It says here, this picture is about the times my family went to Padre Island in the Gulf of Mexico to go swimming. So you make a pause there. Hace una pausa. Oh. And also you change the intonation. Cuando usted termina una oración, la entonación va hacia arriba. To go swimming. Once we, we got there, una coma, hace una pausa más corta que el punto. A fisherman had just caught a big hammer her shark at the end of the, of the pier. Punto. Un pier es esto, the picture that we hear. Es el muelle, eso es un pier. Continue here, please. How he how, got... How, uh, how he got... Got... Got the shark to the beach i never found out it period, was scary. period no oh. no me está haciendo la pausa how he got the shark to the beach i never found out period nunca o sea, what they are saying how he got there how como el shark llegó a there ahí i never found out nunca lo nunca supe punto continue it was? it was scary to see because it was big enough to swell to swallow swallow swallow, swallow a little kid wall hole hole a little kid hole so this word is pronounced like exactly like that okay hole this one the first one is entire complete and the second one is un hueco, but the pronunciation is the same. Hold, hold. Um, another correction here in wood. I, I also always mention this. The, in these words, the letter L is a silent letter. Wood. No me digan wool. That's incorrect. Could and should. No L. And I have been repeating this for many times. Wood, could, should. But, and you make the same mistake. Another one, this one. This is ice. This one, ice. See? Ice, land. This one is not Iceland, it's island. In this word, the letter S is a silent letter. This one doesn't sound. I, land. I, land. Okay? Be careful with that pronunciation. Um, we make how many more we miss? Okay, we miss two more. We are going to to work working with these others next class. So next class you are gonna copy the questions. Let's see how many we are today. Okay, I think we are completed. So we're gonna we are going we are going to continue the reading in the page that talks about making tamales. Me, there's there's where we're gonna me, yeah. Me. I can read the story later to finish. Yes, you can, of course. And if you read the story, as you see, this story is very simple and it's very short. It's very short. It's very easy to understand. If you read the story, you're going to be able to participate. We're going to talk about the story. And Today course, I am going to read the story. Okay. And also, the questions at the end are going to be easy to, to answer for you. If you if you know what the story is about, of course. So see you in, in the in the next class in seven minutes. Don't connect late, please. Bye bye. Bye.